other Capricorns and whoever else might have adventured here. This is your mid-January to February reading of this current year. Doing a new layout, so don't mind it, right? Capricorns and cross-watchers alike, this is for the sign of Capricorn and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, please check your charts, right? If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose, away it goes, because there's no point in worrying about something that has nothing to do with you and ain't none of your damn business, right? Right. So, Capricorns and cross-watchers. Mmm, look at this mess we have here. First of all, you guys just are kind of combative because I feel like you guys are yourselves a little bit, or you feel like you're incapable, or whatever, right? You don't feel like taking a leap of faith to an, from a past situation with the sake of clown and the six of cups reversed, right? Seems like you're bothered, nettled, if you will, about making some sort of decision in a situation. There is a want and wish when it comes to commitment, community, establishment, um, friends, family, whatever. That's just like kind of shit. It's not it, like it's it, imagine it as not the hot dog truck, but the shittiest hot dog truck. But not the worst, you know. Just the shittiest. There's a difference. Um, the obstacle and challenge in this is that the Queen of P Cups right here could be Cancer or Pisces. Scorpio might not be as in a good investment. So you could be messing with somebody like that. You got Taurus. You got Virgo. Yourself. Uh, Aries. And you got Leo over here. Uh, strength card reverse not being strong. Or not be or restrictions from a leap of faith of sorts and then that shit starts how it ends once again like it's all feel like a loss of energy or some shit but it's because you've been fighting so much for whatever reason your theme is the world everything's coming together I don't know how, but it is. Like, this is kind of like the weirdest get-together ever. It's like if you had a shindig at your pet raccoon's house, but they invited other critters, and some of the critters don't get along with the other critters, like Zootopia. And, like, there's a lot of... It, it feels like a mess. So let's see, Caps. The situation where you can't take a leap of faith in order to move past something from back in the day. No. Trying to call some manifestations with that, right? Or you caused your fate to be all nettled and shit. One of the two. Like somewhere along the way, somebody caused somebody to be upset. It could be a mum figure, it could be a Taurus, Aries. Libra, that Venetian motherly energy, that nurturing sensation. Someone's not nurturing so much. Someone might have like, caused their fate to make them a little bit bitter about shit. Situation with the Four of Cups reversed with the Two of Wands, trying to figure out a mess or something. Um, hmm. Strength card reversed right here. Someone feels like they're being watched. And they can't be happy because of it. Uh, uh, because something worked the way it did back in the day. The fuck does that mean? Okay, whatever. Um, let's draw one more. Something worked back in the way. Something from back in the day that they learned somewhere else. And now, like, somebody is, like, crying? Wait, looking for someone to come back in from the cold. Hmm. <clears throat> it's like something worked back in the day, but now it's like not working anymore. Wants and wishes with the Hierophant. Stop going on the floor. Yeah, the shit doesn't seem to be going very well, so someone wants to take a journey or some shit. Or go somewhere. Um. I don't know. I guess because... Well, there's that water sign again. Someone might be actually a little bit immature with it. Well, they're both pages, so yeah, it's really immature energy. They want to take an adventure, but it's like... I don't know. It's like... 
really not so nice, not so settling. Kind of probably like coming off like a spoiled brat or something, too. Obstacle and challenge below with the Queen of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles reverse. I feel like bad investment right here. Something didn't happen. And that brought like a disaster. Like I was saying, this is kind of a mess. When it came possibly to the Hierophant once again, you definitely could be dealing with a water sign or a Taurus. Capricorns. But something didn't happen and it caused a disaster with some sort of commitment or whatnot, right? Right. Fears and rejections. Someone doesn't have the strength to take a leap of faith, I think. But it's like, that's because of their own fucking doings, you know? In order to make themselves happy. Let's see. King of Pentacles, reverse with the Seven of Wands. That should start to end. It's like you exerted your energy fighting for nothing. Just so you wouldn't be a fool. But it made you a dick. It made you really immature dick. Ugh. Terrible card. You know. Like, there's a desire to make a delivery, Capricorns, to an old, old relationship you got, too. The problem is, is like, you know, it, it, the love really isn't very well known or established, and someone is waiting for something fruitful to happen. Hmm. Okay. So. Capricorns. Let's see. In the situation, ooch. If there was a tower before, it's happening again. Like something's repeating. Someone hasn't learned their lesson, so they're getting the lesson again. And this time, no one's gonna find the bodies. Oh, wait, that was the right one. My bad. Um, that something isn't going to end, or die, or be changed with something else. What the fuck? What does that mean? Because uh, that's how everything is supposed to go. It's fate at this point. Huh. Someone's going to be reminded that, like, there isn't going to be an ending because it was... This is how it's supposed to be? Love is offered, a door is open, a new beginning comes up, and someone gets to feed the gnomes. So they get like a new beginning and apparently a petting zoo with gnomes and shit. And they take pentacles to buy psychedelic mushrooms and they bring them back to you so you can go tripping. It's sweet. Down below in the situation, yeah, it's like some love offer is coming in. And that'll work? What? Or, or is someone going to offer their love in order to make this work like a little bit more established? Hmm. Oh, Capricorns, you're crazy. Anyway. Wants and wishes with someone wanting to travel, but it's like in a bratty sort of way. You know, they don't care what the good book says. Like, I don't give a shit. I do not give a shit. Like, fuck the rules. This is the third time the higher friends come up, but now he's reversed. It's like someone isn't really giving a shit about the rules. Um, because it makes him feel like a loser? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Anyway, Queen of Cups. Well, okay, this was, oh, right. That's weird. Why is the higher friend coming up twice? But then, when it finally comes up in this last time, it's reversed, and it's because something's written down? Like, someone's rebelling? Hmm. It's where no one would get a victory. That's crazy. Obstacles and challenges? Someone might come up to this, uh, what is this? This disaster that doesn't happen because it doesn't happen. To find out some secrets and whatnot. 
Um, but it seems like they're gonna have to, like, get someone to let their guard down first. But it's gonna be someone who they really don't trust. They look them up and down and shit, right? But they gotta try to get them to get their guard down in order to get it out of them. That's the obstacle and challenge right here. But it's also, like, you know... It's weird. It's like someone has to fish for some information in order to get the data, you know. Like, that way, I, it almost like, you know, mm, I don't think thinks too much, but it's never anything productive. That's what it feels like. Anyway, Fears and Rejections, Capricorns. Someone was probably, someone's afraid that, like, it's something that they were trying to work on in order to fix themselves. They're afraid of that for some reason. Or just to make them feel less of a void, or just happy, or something. It feels like they can't go back to what it was, and whatever they left behind, after they took whatever, is just left to rot now. And their emotion keeps hitting them back in the face. Okay. Hmm. Last try, Capricorns. Person who feels like a fool, especially about possibly how they behaved and how this should start out ends, they might communicate and it might lead to something. I didn't lay down like an ending theme. That's my bad. I'll get it right before I end this, okay? Okay. That something needs to be buried. Because it's dead. But. It seems like it's because people were telling them some things, but they weren't listening. And they just did, but it's like, somebody did whatever anyway, but that's after this thing gets buried, or communication gets buried? Or maybe something was already known that nobody told them yet until after the fact. Because now it's like, they don't want to go in and fight for anything, you know. Page of Swords would normally, like, if it was the present, he be getting ready to go start some shit, or start meddling in things, and then instead it's like he gets caught up in the meddling of his things. All right, let's hear ending Dan Capricorns, since I have the memory of a goldfish. Let's see. Uh, some quick moving disaster is going. To to, um, well, bring the world together. And, uh, apparently there was some injustice going on. Someone was not understanding what fairness was. However, they escaped the disaster they saw coming a while ago. Hmm. Caps, are you figuring somebody out that you weren't expecting to figure out? Or at least establishing an identity about them that, like, you didn't recognize before. Because I feel like you've met this person before, but not really. It's like, you know, there's something to be established here. Um, but there's something that I feel like they're not telling you whenever they do approach you. And it's like, and I think that's what's causing you to kind of buck the system. Like, to me, it's very unusual the Hierophant comes up twice. But then when it comes up in the wants and wishes, like, it, it's like denied. Only to like knock two people back down on a pedestal from where they were, you know? Or to cause both of them to lose something. And it's just kind of like, you know, like... Capricorn is really the only time like y'all like decide that you're going to lose something is when you realize there's nothing to put into it Or you just want to sabotage a motherfucker and you're willing you're like, you know Like you're the captain of the shit and you will sink everybody on it just to watch a person drown Like, you know, that's, but you know, in a, in a loving way like you'll still choke a bitch even if you're in love with them. It don't matter, but I, but I feel like you're gonna find something out about somebody That I don't think that they know you know I'm being nosy. Give me like two seconds. Okay, hold up. Mmm. Yeah, 
like someone's gonna try to come up with a sob story or something to get you to help them or some shit. I don't know. But it's like, this person could definitely, you could work with them. But I feel like, like the, the tower reverse right here, it's like something didn't end and it was meant to happen again. It's like, okay. Like there's something here that's like bugging the shit out of you. But that's your reading kind of recordings. So, there you go. You liked it? Like, share, and subscribe my shit. You don't have to, you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it. And I totally forgot what else I was going to say. Anyway, you know, I love your face. I'll see you guys later. This empress bothers me. I'm just saying, like, you know, in my old, like, divine counterpart thing, that would be, like, divine feminine, but, like, she's reversed, so it would be karmic, and it's, like, I don't know why, but I just feel like copycat, if that makes sense, but it's whatever. But I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.